Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to build a document optical character recognition app using Apple's Vision Kit and Vision Framework in Swift UI. Our final app will look somewhat like this. It has a scanner button which opens up the scanner, then we capture any document using the camera. And inside the list, it will appear its content. So let's start building this. First, create an iOS. Then type the name of the project. Then create the project. Inside the content view file, create a navigation view. Inside it, we stack and add navigation title modifier. Then create and navigation bar items. In the trailing side, create a button. Inside the label, add an image. Create a state called as show scanner sheet which has initial value false. Then inside the action of the button, we just need to toggle the state. Then below the button, we add the modifier sheet inside it. We add a state and then inside the content, we leave it empty. Let's just check our app. Add image modifier as font title. Create a Swift called as scan data. Create a structure scan data which confirms to identifiable. Then create a variable as ID which equals to UUID. Then create, let's call content which confirms to string. Then create and initialize and our app's respective input value. Then we give respective input value to our variable. Then inside the content view file, we need to create a state called text which takes array of scan data and initialize as empty array. Then we create a check that if text array has not been empty, we create a list. Then for each of the content inside the text which lay out some view out of it. We create a navigation link. Add destination as a scroll view and add our text view then provide the content. And for the label we only show the text and limit line value to 1. For the else closure, we only show text that no scan happened yet. Now, open the info.list file and add camera usage description. And its description for why we are using camera permission. Then create another Swift file called scanner view. 
Inside it, we import Swift UI module. Then import Vision Kit module. Create a structure called Scanner View, which is inherited from UI View Controller Representable. Inside it, create a constant called Completion Handler, which has an optional set of string or return a void. Create an initializer, add our initializer as input and set the completion handler to completion. Then set the type alias the UI view controller type which equals to VN document camera view controller. After adding it, it will give us two methods that is make UI view controller and update UI view controller. Inside the make UI view controller function, create a let called view controller which equals to VN document camera view controller. Then return a view. Then create a class called coordinator which confirms to NS object and VN document view controller delegate. Inside it, we require a completion handler. Then create an initializer, then add completion handler as input. Then set completion handler to input completion. Then we create a function called make coordinator which returns to coordinator. Inside the coordinator, we create a function document camera view controller did cancel function and add a completion handler to nil. Then create another function document camera view controller which has did fail with error add a completion handler to nil. Then create another Swift file called as text recognizer. Inside it, import vision and vision kit module. Then create a class text recognizer. Then inside it, we create a let camera scan which confirms to VN document camera scan. Then create an initializer which takes the input as a camera scan. Then set the camera scan to camera scan. Create a new dispatch queue to which you can submit blocks at the label, then add the quantity of the service as the default. Then add attributes to empty array. Then auto release frequency with which to auto release object created by the blocks that the queue schedules. 
Then create a function called recognize text which takes the input as a completion handler. Then we use a queue as async closure. We create a variable image which equals to total page count range. Then lay out each our image in the compact map. Then we use our camera scan function. It has image of page at every iteration. It convert the image to CG image. Then we create the image request, we map each of the image. This takes every image and we request each to our vision recognize text request function. Then after each page recognize, we lay out our text from each page. Inside the closure, we create a handler which equals to VN image request handler. It lay out an object that processes one or more image analysis request pertaining to a single image. We instantiate this handler to perform vision request on a single image. Inside the function, we put inside each of our CG image. Then create a try catch closure. Then we try our handler to perform the request. Then we get our observation equals to request dot results, which gives us array of vision recognized text observation. After each observation, we map out each observation. For each page, we get the string and join by the separator. Then finally, we catch our error. Then we use another dispatch queue as async function. Then we return out text the completion handler. Then inside the scanner view, we create a function document camera view controller. We create a let recognizer which equals to text recognizer function, then add a scan. Then use recognize text function and provide a completion handler. Then inside a content view file, we create a function called as function make scanner view, which returns the scanner view. Then create a scanner view structure inside the completion. It give out the text per page. Then if the output text equal to the text per page, we join the empty spaces with the line breaks. Then create a trimming character with white spaces and add line. Then create a let new scan data equals to a scan data which takes our output text. Then we append our text array to new scan data. Then we set our scanner sheet to false.
Then inside the sheet, we use the make scanner view function. Inside the scanner view, inside the make UI view controller function, we add view controller delegate and we set our coordinator. So finally, here we can see that how our app is working and we can scan our page. And see, we can see our item in the list. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.